Hello and welcome to our new YouTube tutorial. In this video we're going to build a helicopter with HTML and CSS. As you can see, we have here a flying effect. The helicopter is flying over the city. The blades are moving. This entire helicopter is created with HTML and CSS and actually it's not an image. Okay, so that's all about the project. Let's go ahead and start to create it. I have prepared a new folder on the desktop called helicopter in which we have another folder for the images. Let's go ahead and open this folder in VS Code and create our working files for HTML and CSS. Then open the index.html file and create a basic HTML document. Let's place here an exclamation mark and then hit tab or enter. Alright, so first of all I'm going to change the title. It's going to be helicopter. And then let's link the CSS file, open link tag and specify here the name of the file. Alright, finally I'm going to run this project to the browser using live server. And then let's place the editor and the browser like so. Alright, let's go ahead and start to create the HTML markup. Let's open the div tag, which is going to be the container. Then we need another div tag with the class helicopter. It will include all the parts of the helicopter. The first one is going to be blade, which will include main rotor. Next we will have mast. Next comes cockpit, then we'll have landing skids, we'll have two landing skids and they will have common class names landing skid and also the individual classes landing skid 1 and landing skid 2. Alright, after that we have tail cone, then the next part is going to be tail fin. And finally, we need here tail rotor. Okay, so that's it about the HTML markup. Let's move on and start to write some CSS. First of all, I'm going to start to write some reset and default styles. Let's select every element using an asterisk. I'm going to get rid of default margin and padding. Let's set both properties to zero. And then also I'm going to set box sizing to border box. Throughout this project we're going to use RAM as a measurement unit. Right now one RAM equals 16 pixels and I want to convert one RAM into 10 pixels. So for that we need to decrease the font size of the HTML element and we have to make it 62.5%. Alright, let's move on and take care of the body elements. I'm going to define its width and height. The width is going to be 100%. As for the height I'm going to make it 100% of the viewport and also change the background color I'm going to use here light green alright after that I'm going to customize the container let's select it and define its width and height the width is going to be 150 RAM as for the height I'm going to make it 80 RAM and also change the background color I'm going to use here RGB value 881 Seven nine two five three. All right, so we need to place the container in the center of the page, and for that, let's use a CSS grid. We need display property with the value grid, and then place items center. Okay, that's it about the container for now. We'll take care of it a bit later. Next I'm going to start to build the helicopter. So let's go ahead and select the wrapper div element and define its width and height. The width is going to be 80 RAM. As for the height, I'm going to make it 60 RAM and also change the background color, make it white. Next I'm going to place the helicopter in the center of the container. So again I'm going to use CSS grid, we need display grid and 
place items center. Okay, so the first part that I'm going to create is a blade. Let's select it and define its width and height. The width is going to be 40 RAM. As for the height, I'm going to make it 2 RAM and also change the background color, make it black. So here we have the blade. Let's go ahead and change its position. For that, I'm going to use position absolute. Actually, we will need position absolute for every part. So let's select all the div elements inside the helicopter and set the position to absolute. We will position elements according to the wrapper development, I mean the helicopter, so we need position relative for this element. Okay, let's change the position of the blade. I'm going to set left property to 20 RAM. As for the top position, it's going to be 15 RAM. Okay, so that's it about the blade for now. Actually, we will use some 3D effects for some of the parts of the helicopter. So we will come back to the blade later. Next we have the main rotor. Let's define its width and height. The width is going to be 5 RAM. As for the height, I'm going to make it 2 RAM. Also, let's change the background color. Right now I'm going to use red color, but then we will change it. Also, let's define left position, make it 17.5 RAM. Okay, let's move on and customize the next part, which is going to be the cockpit. Actually, this element is going to be the entire cabin of the helicopter and not only the window. So let's define width and height. I'm going to set width to 20 RAM. Then the height is going to be 10 RAM. Also, let's change the position. Let's set top property to 18.5 RAM. Then the left position is going to be 30 RAM. And also change the background color, make it black. Okay, so now we have to take care of the shape of the cockpit. It's going to be rounded. And we will do that using border radius. So the top left corner is going to be 50%. Then top right corner will be 40%. Also, the bottom right corner will be 40%. And we need the same for the left bottom corner. Alright, after that, I'm going to take care of the actual cockpit. I'm in the window. We'll create it using a before pseudo element. So let's select cockpit with before pseudo element. First of all, we need to define the content. Let's make it empty. Next, I'm going to define width and height. The width is going to be 8 RAM. Then we need height, which is going to be 5 RAM. Also, let's change the background color. Make it C, C, C. And also, let's set position to absolute. Okay, so now we need to change the position of the element slightly. And we have to make it rounded in order to fit the cabin. So let's set top property to 0.2 RAM. And then in order to make the element rounded, I'm going to use again border radius. We need 100%, then 0, then 40%, and again 0. Okay, so that's it about the cockpit. Next I'm going to customize the landing skids. As you know, we have two landing skids. They have a comma class name. So let's use it and select both elements. First of all, I'm going to define width and height. Let's set width to 23 RAM. Then the height is going to be 10 RAM. And also change the background color. I'm going to use red color. And then we will change it. So we will create the actual landing skids using borders. We need border bottom with values 1 RAM, solid and the color is going to be black. Then we need border left with values 1 RAM, solid, transparent. And also we need border right, which will have the same values. 
Okay, and finally, in order to change the shape of the element, let's use again border radius. The values are going to be 0, 0, 2.5 RAM, and 5 RAM. Okay, so now we have a much better result. Actually, we no longer need this red background color, so let's remove it. After that, we need to position the elements at the bottom of the cabin. So let's select Landing Skid 1. And define top and left properties. The top position is going to be 22 RAM. As for the left position, it's going to be 26 RAM. Let's duplicate this code. Change the class name. So the top position is going to be 20.5 RAM. As for the left position, it's going to be 26.5 RAM. Alright, so the landing skids are positioned and now we have to connect them to the cabin. For that, I'm going to use before and after pseudo elements. Let's select both of them together. First of all, we need to define the content. It's going to be empty. Then we need a width and height. The width is going to be 1 RAM. As for the height, I'm going to set it to 5 RAM. Also, let's change the background color, make it black. And set position to absolute. All right, so now we need to change the positions. Actually, both of them will have bottom position set to zero but besides that we need to define a left position for each element separately let's select landing skid before and set left position to 8 ram then i'm going to copy this code we need after and we have to set left position to 18 ram Alright, so with the landing skits we are done and the next part that we're going to customize is a tail cone. So again I'm going to define width and height. The width is going to be 25 RAM. Then the height is going to be 2 RAM. And also change the background color, make it black. Okay, so here we have the tail cone. Let's go ahead and change its position. I'm going to set top property to 22 RAM. Then the left position is going to be 47 RAM. And finally, I'm going to change the shape of the element using again border radius. We need here the values 0, 100%, 100% and 0. All right, that's it about the tail cone. Next, we have the tail fin. Let's select it and first of all, define width and height. The width is going to be 2 RAM, then the height will be 8 RAM, and again we need black background color. Okay, so here we have the tail fin, let's go ahead and change its position, let's define top and right properties. The top position is going to be 19 RAM, as for the right position, let's make it 7.5 RAM. And finally, let's change the shape of the element using border radius. The values are going to be 100%, 0, 0 and 100%. Okay, so the tail fin is ready and now we have to take care of the last part of the helicopter which is the tail rotor. Let's define width and height. The width is going to be 1 RAM. As for the height, I'm going to make it 9 RAM. Also, we need to change the background color. Let's make it black. And then we need to change the position. Let's define top and right properties. The top position is going to be 18.5 RAM. As for the right property, let's set it to 6.5 RAM. Okay, so before we make the helicopter fly, we need to customize the mast which connects the cabin to the blade. Let's select this element. First of all, let's define its width and height. I'm going to set width to 1 RAM, then the height is going to be 2 RAM, then change the background color, make it black.
and then let's change the position we need left property with the value 39.5 gram and then top position with the value 17 gram okay so all the parts are customized and now we have to make the helicopter fly let's start with the blade as we said we need some 3d effects for the blade and for that we have to create a 3d environment in order to do that we need to use one of the css properties called perspective let's set it to 100 ram all right after that we need to rotate the blade for that i'm going to use transform with the rotate x function we need to rotate the element according to the x direction the value is going to be 90 degrees so the blade is rotated and now we have to rotate the main rotor but before that we need to share 3d environment for the main rotor and in order to do that we have to assign to the blade transform style with the value preserve 3d and now we can rotate the main rotor let's use transform rotate x with the value minus 90 degrees all right so after that i'm going to add a little part to the main rotor in order to achieve much better effect we need to make the main rotor look like a cross and i'm going to do that using the before pseudo element so let's select main rotor with before pseudo element first of all i'm going to define the content let's make it empty and then we need to define width and height I'm going to make both properties 100%. Then change the background color. I'm going to use here some temporary background color, let's say blue. And also let's set position to absolute. So here we have the before pseudo element and I'm going to rotate it. Let's use transform, rotate Y. The value is going to be 80 degrees. Okay, besides that we need a 3D environment for this element as well. For that we need to use transform style for the main rotor with the value preserve 3D. And also I'm going to get rid of this white background from here. Besides that, I'm going to change the colors for the main rotor. Let's make it black. All right, so now it's time to animate the blade. We need to rotate this element. So let's create CSS keyframes. The name is going to be blade anim. So overall we will have two steps, 0% and 100%. At 0% we need transform, rotate X function, with the value 90 degrees and also rotate Z with 0. So throughout the animation we need to rotate the element according to the Z direction from 0 to 360 degrees. So at 100% we need transform, rotate X with 90 degrees and rotate Z with 360 degrees. Okay, so the keyframes are ready. Let's go ahead and run the animation. First of all, we need here the name of the keyframes, Blade Anim. Then the duration is going to be 0.1 second. The animation should run infinitely, so we need here infinite. And also, the animation is going to be linear. Okay, so as you can see, the blade with the main rotor is moving. Now we need the same thing for the tail rotor as well. So let's create CSS keyframes with the name tail rotor anim. We need to rotate the element according to the x direction from 0 to 360 degrees. So at 0% we need transform, rotate x with 0. And then at 100% we need transform, rotate x with 360 degrees. 
Let's go ahead and run the animation. The name is going to be tail rotor anim. Then we need duration, 0.1 second. And again, infinite and linear. All right, so the helicopter is flying and now we have to take care of the background of the container. Let's add here an image. So we need URL, then folder called images and we need to select bg.png so here we have the background but it doesn't look good we need to change the size of the background I'm going to give it the same size that the container has so the background size will have two properties 150 RAM and then auto So now we have the better result, but as you can see, the background image is repeated. Actually, we need to repeat it only horizontally. So let's add here, repeat X. So now the image is no longer repeated, but we have to change its position. We need to move it down by 100%. So let's define background position with the values 0 and 100%. Alright, so now the background looks nice and now I'm going to add to it an animation. Let's create CSS keyframes with the name bg-anim. So we will have two different steps, 0% and 100%. And during the animation we need to change the position of the background. So at 0% we will have the default position, I mean 0 and 100%. As for the 100%, the background position is going to be 150 RAM and 100%. Let's run the animation. We need here the name BG Anim. Then the duration is going to be 10 seconds. And again, the animation should run infinitely and also it should be linear. Okay, so as you can see, the background is moving and we have here a nice flying effect. Actually, we are almost done with this project. I just need to do a couple of things. I'm going to rotate the helicopter slightly. I'm going to rotate it according to the Y direction. And the value is going to be minus 15 degrees. And in order to make the project nicer, I'm going to change the shape of the container. Let's do that using border radius. We need here 0.5 RAM and 100 RAM. All right, so that's it. Finally, with this project, we are done. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful. If you like this video, then please thumbs up, comment below, share it, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified on coming tutorials. See you next time.